Hey guys, welcome to downtown Durham. So today I'm going to take you on a run around some of my favorite places in and around downtown. Hopefully before I freeze, it is 23 degrees out. I think it's the coldest it's been since I've moved back from New York City. All right, let's go. off at the American Tobacco Campus. Now this used to be a uh, tobacco warehouse area district. Now it's all been renovated. There's shops and restaurants, mostly restaurants, and the Durham Ball, <laughs> Bulls Athletic Park. It's already way too cold. I'm probably underdressed. NPR. American Tobacco Trail. Now, this is the start of it, and it goes for miles and miles. I once did a 20 mile, 21 mile run on this trail. It's flat, it's paved, but there's a side sort of gravel space once you get further down the trail to run on too. And it's really nice because it's just bikes and pedestrians on the trail. So if you want to avoid the traffic, it's good to go. It's good to run on. Uh, it is way too cold. Okay, so we're gonna run on this for a little bit, and then we're gonna cut back to downtown. Forest Hills now, which is a really pretty neighborhood, some beautiful houses, but I've cut off the tobacco trail and now I'm going back up downtown because Forest Hills is nice, but there's not a ton of sidewalk area and there's some cars here, so we're gonna go back on Duke Street. Boo Duke, go heels. Now if you want, we're almost back to Main Street. So you can take a right on Main Street here and go for a shorter loop. If you keep going on Main Street, then you take another right on South Roxboro, and then you go back to the Tobacco Campus. That's a pretty good three mile route. I can't move my mouth, it's so cold. Okay, um, we're gonna go a little bit longer though. I'm gonna take a left up here on Main Street. We're gonna go past Brightly Square, and then we're gonna see some other stuff. All right, here we go. I hate to say it, but they've got a really good running trail around their East Campus. It's like one and a half miles, and it's good if you want to get your feet off the pavement. So we're going to run on it for a little bit. Okay, so I had originally planned to do about 10 this morning, uh, but my phone is just hemorrhaging battery because it's cold. I'm not complaining. It's gone up two degrees since I started. It's now 25 degrees. But we're gonna cut the loop a little bit shorter for about six miles for today. So instead of going up broad right here, um, we're gonna continue down Markham and then hit a trail that I really like after we go through some nice neighborhoods. Look, a race. Good job. And the one tricky part here is if you wanna run down Markham, you gotta jump the wall. All right, so this is the other trail I was mentioning. It's really nice. If you go north, it connects to some other trails. You can even go by it and see a dinosaur at the Museum of Life and Science. It's really cool. We're gonna go this way though, which will take us back towards downtown. 
I used to live in this neighborhood called Trinity Park right over here, and I would run on this trail all the time. It's got mile markers every quarter mile, so it can be really helpful for timing your splits or really aggravating if you're going on a long run. All right, we're coming up on one of, one of Durham's most fun districts. This is called the DIY district. Um, but it's got the old Durham Bulls Athletic Stadium, the, so the old baseball stadium. It's got full steam, it's got Coco Cinnamon, which is the best coffee shop ever. It's got the Makery, which is like a crafty place. So if you want to spend some time here not running, it's cool too. Um, then we're gonna go through the farmer's market and then back up the hill to Main Street. It's really hard to turn down rise of biscuits and donuts, but we're almost done with the run. There's only one thing left to do. You can go get a selfie with the bull. The holiday parade is today. I'm gonna get back just in time to watch it go through Main Street. That's about wraps up our six mile route. If you want to go back to the tobacco campus, you can go that way. I'm going to go home this way. Hope you guys enjoyed running through downtown Durham. All right, so here's the route that I did in case you want to follow me again. So we started at the Tobacco Campus, which is right here. And after that, we went through the Tobacco Campus to the Tobacco Trail, which is not shown on this map. Tobacco Trail went over this part and then went down until we got to Enterprise Street. And then we turned at Forest Hills Park. We took another right turn here. And then we turned onto Duke Street. We went all the way up Duke Street, which was a little bit of a hill. And at this point, you can go back to the to uh, Tobacco Campus by taking a right on Main Street, but we took a left. So we went to Duke's East Campus, and then I went around uh, East Campus on the gravel trail, and then I hopped the wall, and then I went down this way, and then I got on um, the LRB Trail, which is right here, and that took me to Trinity, and I went down Washington, and I turned at the ballpark, and then I went up Foster through the Farmer's Market, and I continued until I got back downtown. And then once you get back on Main Street, you can go all the way till you get to Roxborough Street. And then you can sort of head your way, find your way back to the Tobacco Campus. And this entire loop, if I mapped it correctly, is 6.19 miles. So I'll put this version as well as the 10 mile version and the 3 mile version in the description to this video in case you want to try it yourself.